because wrong done by people can be corrected by them and they can stand and maybe stop uh, others from uh, repeating same. I kind of uh, feel like uh, we got the whole thing uh, mixed up earlier. Uh, UK got, uh, UK's place got uh, taken by uh, Henry. I was wondering why, why is his sleep not moving? Unfortunately, we lost uh, that uh, slot. However, I hope uh, uh, UK will come back and take his slot. So, here we go. Who is next? I think that would be Tunde Femisa. Is that you? Yes, that's me. Amazing. Thank you so much. And after you will be Sir Tayo Kalejaye, and we'll go on like that. So I'm going okay. to add other people too, but uh, it will be when the number kind of reduce. Okay, so thank you. Sir, okay. your, turn, your turn, sir. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Mayegun. Thank you, Thank sir. you for your support. Uh, in fact, what you are doing is uh, is priceless. Is priceless. Is giving real hope to us as a Nigerian. You know, anywhere we are, mm -hmm. we what you are doing uh, cannot be paid for. Nobody can actually pay for it because it must be coming from the place of passion for you to be keeping us informed and uh, running this thing unbiased. You know, is. It's very, very difficult. It's a very difficult task to be doing this if you don't really have the real passion. Mm -hmm. uh, I must really appreciate your, your effort and where this energy is coming from. Uh, if you are a Christian, we say where this anointing is coming from, we know not run dry, you know, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. I, I love the passion and the continuous passion to continuously just help us to help the country for us to be on the right path because the truth is, if you look at it, every type of resources you are looking for in this world, mm. we have it in Nigeria. Is it human resources? Is it materials? Is it land mass? Is it water? Is it waterways? Whatever we, you can think of, we have it. Uh, it's just quite unfortunate that the only thing we don't have is good leadership. Mm. Our leaders have just decided to be an enemy to the nation, to sit on the resources um, and to just make sure they take whatever they like. So Nigeria is like a marketplace. Mm -hmm. Everybody goes there, you take your own, I take it, we negotiate it. If you, if you can see what is happening now, we are talking of things that are viable. People are just fighting over position. Who will be the Senate president? Which, who will be zoned? Who will not be zoned? Who is there? You know, that is the negotiation going on is quite unfortunate but just to really focus on the election election has come and uh, we are now in court honestly i am very very optimistic mm -hmm. i'm very optimistic that something is going to come out of the court i'm one of the few if i believe is many I don't think uh, you are many people that mm -hmm. believe that the outcome of the of what we come out from the court is going to favor us we Nigerians. There is no, because the, they have done everything. The, mm. Just the way you used to say, they will touch light us. They yes, touch light us. They've done whatever they can do in terms of just trying to divert our attention the way they used to do it, the usual way. In less than a few weeks, we are not supposed to even be talking about this. As in, you know, we are a regular pattern. Rigging, mm -hmm. they've been rigging since 1960. You know, all you know, we will just go back to our normal default mode. But in this one, it's not going to, it's not business as usual. No. So what are we encourage the obedience to continue to do? Is to do what they know how to do best. I am telling you we need continuous surprises mm. honestly the only thing that apc and tinubu are not ready for is the surprises that came up by the emergence of obi mm. assuming they are aware of obi in the last three four years i trust tinubu he will have finished he will have finished either the party the system you will even realize that abure will be his man mm. assuming he knows but they don't they were not aware so the only thing to keep this tempo is for obedience to change the dynamism of surprises mm. we have to do it in a way that they cannot catch up that is the only way and i uh, they are really really trying and i believe that we need to just increase that tempo 
as if you give room for rational, you know, for them to rationalize and put the chess game on board, they will definitely win the game. Hmm. But continuous surprises, just the way Obi came, and I'm happy that the cancel to Obi is the one that has really led the case of Oshun. And to me, he has gained expertise in that area. And mm. with the obedient and some of the Nigerians, we are all touchlighting and seeing the whole reality, it will be difficult for them to go otherwise. Mm. It will be difficult. Those countermeasures they used to use is not going to be applicable in this case. Right. I am very optimistic that the victory will come, that there will be whole, the way the Nigeria, the whole entire Nigeria has cried during that election night because of the massive rigging. That is how we are going to jubilate the moment that announcement comes. Well, that's that's powerful. I'm very, very optimistic. And that, without <laughs> well, people are believing that oh, it's not going to happen. They are going to do it the usual way. It cannot see. Don't let me deceive you. These guys are scared. I can tell. If you notice something, Dino Milaya used to say that the I pray we the elite will not experience the anger of the poor. Hmm. They are very, very scared of this anger of the poor. And don't let me deceive you. Hmm. If anything go. This thing, they cannot manage it. How are you going to handle 200 million people? <laughs> they all know the consequence. Even the leaders, the likes of the Obasanjo and Co, know the consequences of 